This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by i1 Studio. Hey guys, what's going on? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this cool dripping text animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. It's a very simple effect, looks very cool and very, very easy to create. With that said, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. All right, guys, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Call this render as our main render comp. Let's go with 1920 by 1080. That is full HD, 30 FPS, and 10 seconds long comp duration. Hit OK. Then the first thing that we have to do is add our title. So I'm going to select the text tool. And for the font, I'm using Bleeding Freaks. I have mentioned the link in the description so you can download the same exact font. By the way, you can download this complete project file from the link in the description. It is absolutely free. So let's type in dripping. Also, this font only works with lowercase alphabet. So in case if you type in full caps, it won't work. So make sure to keep that in mind. So here we have our text. Let's go into fix and preset and add some nice gradient to this. I'm going to use the gradient ramp. Let's bring the points a bit closer like so. And for this one, I'm going to go with kind of a lightish red. And this one, I'm going to go with a darker reddish tone. Let's bring this a bit closer. Maybe a bit more dark. And make this one a bit lighter. So that is looking good. Let's go ahead and animate our text. So let's go and click on the small icon. Go into animate and add a tracking and then i'll go to around three seconds let's create a keyframe on the tracking amount go back and let's increase this maybe somewhere around there then hit s to bring down the scale properties and scale this really high also make sure the anchor point is in the center so in order to fix this you can just simply select the layer hold control and double click on the pan behind tool and that should fix it so let's scale this up really high somewhere on there and then I can hit U and let's adjust the tracking amount so that the text is out of the frame and yeah now let's hit S again and create a keyframe on the scale go to three seconds and set this to 100 so basically we have this really nice reveal of our text now hit U so we can see both the keyframes, select the keyframes, you can hit F9 to ease them or simply right click keyframe assistant and um, easy ease. Then jump into the graph editor, right click and select edit speed graph, select this point and drag them to the left and this ones as well. So we have much more smoother animation as you can see looking pretty cool all right so that is pretty cool now let's add that dripping effect so in order to add that right click create a new adjustment layer call this drip or you can call it whatever that you want i'm going to effects and preset and search for cc smear double click to apply that and this is a really cool effect if you use it in the correct way as you can see it looks pretty awesome and you could you can create a number of different amazing looks using this effect so i can play around with the reach i can uh, play around with the radius to get a really cool look so let's set the reach to around 50 and the radius to 18 that is the properties that i found out to i found out to be working pretty cool with this effect you can try out different uh, options and you know play around with it so let's place this point like so I'm going to go to around three seconds, create a keyframe on the two and let's go all the way up to 10 seconds and drag this. And while dragging it, make sure you hold shift so it 
drags it properly in the horizontal position if not it it can go you know a bit in a different direction so somewhere around there and now we have this really cool look again you can play around with the reach so i can in increase that i can play around with the radius to get a different look and this would look pretty weird but yeah you can do that so i'm going to repeat this process we can select this adjustment layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it make sure you are on the end of the composition select the cc smear and i'm going to move this one maybe somewhere around there and somewhere around this maybe this all right then let's go back to three seconds and then i'm going to move this point right over here so now we have something like this pretty cool let's do this couple of more times so hit ctrl d again and select the cc smear this time i'm going to move this one to this p probably and move this one right here something like this then go back to three seconds and move this point like so that is looking pretty cool let's do this one more time so hit control d to duplicate it select the smear and uh, drag this point maybe somewhere around here and then move this as well so all right let's go to three seconds and move this point right here and boom there we have this really nice look but we are not done yet let's make this a bit more interesting first of all i'm gonna fix the colors i think the colors are not looking the way i want it to be i want it to be a bit more intense so something like that and also let's increase the ram scatter a bit all right now before i proceed further with this tutorial i just want to take a minute and talk about today's sponsor i1 studio their amazing pack based transition and motion graphics is currently on the biggest sale ever with a flat 50% off. They have two versions of base library for After Effects and Premiere Pro which contains over 2500 plus unique animations. And it also comes with Atom X extension included so using this pack is as simple as drag and drop. They are also working on a huge update which will be coming up in the next few months which will make this pack even more bigger with over 3000 plus elements so make sure to check it out this pack is on sale from 23rd november to 1st of december so make sure to check out the first link in the description below so that is looking pretty cool now let's add some interesting motion to this so i can create a new adjustment layer again call this t for transform go into effects and preset and search for transform effect add that go to around 2 second and 15 frames create a keyframe on the scale property go all the way up to 10 seconds and set this to 110 so now we have a continuous motion and it looks pretty cool and yep yeah, that is the kind of look i am i want to go with now one more thing that i want to do here is select all the drip adjustment layers hit u and just change the way they animate so first of all let's select all the keyframes right click keyframe assistant easy ease or hit f9 go into the graph and select these points and drag them to the left so that's the so that the drip starts a bit faster and then slows down so it looks much more uh, realistic yeah the motion looks much more realistic actually and then we can adjust the timings of each of this just so that they look a bit more random yeah that is looking much better then i can select all the layers hit ctrl shift c to pre-compose it call this title and to make it look a bit more interesting i will be adding a texture on this so you can download this texture this texture will be available in the project file so you don't need to worry about it just drag and drop this texture composition on top of the title so we have this really nice uh, grungy animated texture and set the track mat of the title layer to luma inverted mat and boom there you go there we get this really interesting look now you can adjust the opacity of the texture depending on how intense you want it so maybe i can keep it somewhere around 70 percent looks fine and now if i preview this you can see we get this 
really cool looking effect now you can type in something uh, like halloween or horror movie title animations using this technique and it's a really interesting and simple way of creating a horror title animation or a halloween title animation i don't know you can use it in a number of different ways so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did you know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you're watching my video for the very first time and comment down below if you enjoyed this tutorial with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out